Welcome viewers to the SD online classes. We are at uh, <clears throat> page number 226 of your textbook. This is class 9 maths MBSC chapter 15 construction chapter. Uh, till now we have done two different kind of uh, triangle formation using the sum and the difference of the sides. Now this time we will make the triangle but with another information that this information is we are given two base angles angle B and angle C and apart from that the sum of three sides perimeter that means sum of AB, BC and CA in a triangle ABC the sum of the sides are AB, BC and CA these is these are given okay. So with this information we are going to make so remember the construction means there will no data given okay numbers will not be given to you you are going to use simply the uh, idea how to do okay this a process only will be dealt here. So how it will start the first thing that you will make is PQ which will be equal to AB plus BC plus CA so that will be the longest one uh, usually it will look like this okay here there is no value so whatever length I want I can take I will call it PQ that should be equal to AB BC plus C suppose it is 5 together you have to take 5 okay and after that second part is construct the angle QPX QPX here how much is the angle that QPX angle you will make equal to angle B. So angle B will be given to you see that angle you will make it here okay that angle you are going to make it here maybe like this okay. So that will be your QPX after that you will what you will do is you will make PQY this way that also you will make here. So that angle will take compass and all but this time just for the sake of understanding we are not using any data only procedure is important. So after doing that next step will be you are going to bisect angle QPX that means QPX bisect angle bisect how we do the process it will be like this putting your compass here this is the angle we are going to bisect this is the way to do okay cutting it where it is cutting here where it is cutting here you are going to put your compass here and you will be joining this line okay with the dotted lines right uh, even the angles also need to be in dotted lines but it's okay it is understood this line had to be in dotted line because these are not the final angles okay and after that here this side also we will do the same thing we will bisect this angle how we will bisect put your compass here you can choose whatever arc you want it has to only cut these two sides after that you put it here you can change or retain the same this is the process of bisecting an angle so where you will join this to here let us join that right join now where they are cancelling each other okay when they are when they are cutting each other that will be called your a right and now what is the next job is you will bisect ap and you will bisect aq and wherever they cut at that time you will see b and c very easy next step will be bisecting this side AP what is side bisecting how we do this taking more than half putting it here taking the same do this where to join here and here this will tell you where should be your B okay this will tell you where should be your B make sure it cuts here here is this point this point will be your B similarly here also you will be bisecting this AQ AQ bisection same size will do just cutting this side is the way to cut now joining the line it will look little crowded but if you see all the steps carefully or repeat it one or two times it is 
in fact easier than the previous one okay because it is symmetric both side whatever you do one side same thing you will do on the other side also that is why it is easier than the other one i think here it cuts so that name i'll give c this is c this is b now the next job is joining a b joining of a b joining of a c your joining has to be very very carefully made right so this is the step all the steps done now you will be writing what you have done here okay that is steps steps of construction number one what you did first one you made that pq okay draw pq equal to ab plus bc plus ca done next step you remember what you did draw or construct angle qpx and that side also you did pqy pqy done third one what you did bisect remember bisect this time angle qpx right you did this and angle pqy which intersect intersect when you are bisecting them they were intersecting where they were intersecting at a right intersect at a after that number four now join ap and aq right number five bisect ap and aq which intersect each other each other each other at no not each other uh, at this with a p and at c this will this will intersect at b this will intersect at c on pq respectively the respectively means b for uh, the first one which is for b second one is for c okay i'll not write this okay like this is enough number six join a b and a c number seven triangle a b c is the required triangle finish thank you